वेलकम 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 ओके सो दिस वीडियो विल बी पार्ट ऑफ थ्री वीडियो सीरीज इन विच वी विल एक्सप्लेन दैट इज मी एंड माई फ्रेंड रॉबिन वी विल एक्सप्लेन हाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस प्रोजेक्ट यू मे हैव रिमेंबर दिस प्रोजेक्ट अबाउट हॉस्पिटल मैनेजमेंट द फ्रंट एंड इज बेस्ड ऑन टी के एंड द बैक एंड इज मैनेज बाई माई एस के ओके सो फर्स्ट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज टी के इंटर एग्जैक्टली सो बेसिकली टी के इंटर इज अ वेरी ईजी लाइब्रेरी विच प्रोवाइड्स अ ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस इट इज अ जियो लाइब्रेरी राइट ओके सो लेट्स फर्स्ट क्रिएट अ वेरी सिंपल टी के इंटर ऐप सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग एवरी टी के इंटर एप्लीकेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इम्पोर्टिंग वेल टी के इंटर सो लेट एस इम्पोर्ट एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम इट नाउ वी हैव टू नेम अ विंडो so by convention root is taken but you can always take anything else so we have name our window and now we have to notify the python like this window should go on for forever so we need to do root dot main loop and that's it that's basically it our window is open now you will see in just a second so this is the window you can see it is like just the bare bones of the window and there is nothing here let us try to put some thing here let us try to put a button here so let us name the button as button and it should be in our root window that is our main window and it should read as well click yeah and on uh, pressing that button what it do is let us do a command thing and command as submit now we have to make the submit thing also so let us create a submit function and it should uh, well basically just print out this thing mm. it should be in our root window and it should read as uh, well anything like uh, you just click this button and then we have to add this button on to the thing so what we can do is we can just pack it and same here with the button here so let us pack it here and that's it our basic application is is created so as you can see this window is created and it has got this little button here and when you click it you it's this just places this you just click this button and when you click this again this thing this thing happens so that's it that's the basic thing with t enter now obviously you can do certainly many and more things with t enter but here are the basics t enter is not bad if you know what you are doing but it's absurdly confusing and well time consuming there are few other libraries like kiwi pyqt5 so if you are considering making a project with gui consider kiwi before taking a uh, t enter for example here is a very simple username password window written in kiwi Uh, wait a second i will run in for you okay so it's running and uh, as you can see this is the window of kiwi and at least in my opinion this is far better than what is done in the tig enter you can just uh, put out as username and password here and it will print it out so that's it that's basically kiwi now let us get back to our main project okay so we have divided this code in three parts first is all the commands for all the buttons you know the front end of all the window these are all the things for the front end and then in the back we have got our database all the back ends it connects with our database it makes these tables it uh, insert data into the table and it's done all the back end thing like when you click a button when you submit a button and in the middle we have got our main window so it prints out the main window and it's make these buttons these kinds of things so this is the main logic of our window now let us start from the beginning okay so let's start from left frame so the logic behind my code is that uh, we have created this window and then inside it we have created this three frame frames in tick enter is like a small separate section of the window you can do everything inside a frame that you can do in a window and it won't affect the main window at all it's like a small quarantined area 
So firstly, we have defined each frame as top frame, left frame and right frame, which does exactly as they are uh, written. Like the top frame is the top part of the window. The left frame is all the buttons and the right frame is when the magic happens. When the when you click on the button, any button on the left frame, it displays that functions page on the right frame. Right. Let's start from the beginning. Uh, in the top frame, there is uh, the title of the project and the left frame, there is the buttons. We have defined all the buttons that things you can do in a project and map each button to their respective functions. And lastly, there is the right frame where we have posted this logo, which I made using some free website makers. You can do like uh, logo joy and there is Adobe spark and various sites. Okay. So right now with the basic logic done, let's see what we have done with the TTS command. So TTS was very important for us. Uh, so what we have done here is that we have created a speak function, which takes us text as argument and it does all the things like it set the property and it set the rate as 150, which is slightly faster than the normal 100 and it's well, it's tell the PyTTSX3 library to say that command and it waits for further instruction. So this is our speak function. Now, with that done, so when you start the project in our main window, it first asks us about our win about our MySQL username password. So we have done that uh, using this uh, easy GUI, which is well as name as its name says, it's very easy to implement and use. So that's why we have used that very now after making after we got that uh, information from the user about username and password we try to connect with the uh, database if it if it is able to connect with the database all is if it isn't able to connect the database it will again try to put username and password from the user and if this also fails the app just stops and uh, so that is the thing now after making connection with the database it tries to insert default data into the database according to the user if the data is already inserted in the database it will not insert again because we have used the try and catch function here try and insert accept function if it is not if the data is already inserted it just said that uh, the data is already inserted Okay, so I think this will be enough for this video. We'll discuss about the rest of the project in next video. Okay, thank you for listening.